What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, this is episode number 186 and uh, we start today's episode off by seeing that Brilliant McCullough, uh who has a brilliant first name, has uh, indeed accepted his contract that we offered in the last episode, so that contract saga is over, he may not be an important first team member of the squad but he is a resi with a lot of potential, uh, I did want to keep him here and of course he's, he's worthy of keeping just for that first name, um, you know, <laughs> he, hopefully he can live up to that first name but uh, yeah he has signed a contract and he will be staying with the club which is fantastic because uh, as I said before he may not be a first team player but he clearly does have a lot of potential he's only 22 76 overall absolutely rapid a great squad player to have so I'm very pleased he will be staying with the club and not leaving at the end of the season on a free transfer but we take on Arsenal uh, for the first game of today's episode uh, coming off uh, coming off the back of that 5-0 victory uh, away in Wales against Cardiff and the first chance the game would fall in the fourth, uh, 14th minute for Arsenal and it was a Welshman Aaron Ramsey who did indeed open the scoring unfortunately for us Ramsey who always seems to score me against uh, against me on uh, career mode which I really hate does get the goal there very nice finish and it's Millwall nil Arsenal 1 but I know I've got a lot of Arsenal fans that follow me on this uh, channel so I guess you'll be pleased about that but uh, Ramsey does make it 1-0 and uh, the away side are indeed in front but in the 23rd minute Arsenal played a way out from the back here and as Ekdal uh, looks for Ferroni he gives the ball away towards Ermakov great challenge here he rolls the ball forward towards Carrasco picks out Ings in the centre and Chesney the Polish goalkeeper gets caught in no man's land really good cross into the box but as Ings wins the header, Chesney wasn't really decisive, he came for the ball, he didn't get there, and Ings headed the ball past him into the back of the net, so Millwall won, Arsenal won, in the 28th minute, Eric Dier almost scored a wonderful free kick here from a tight angle, he smashes it onto the post, and unfortunately for us, it's cleared away, so still 1-1, in the 36th minute here, Arsenal again uh, guilty of passing the ball around quite sloppily, uh, Leal Guterres, a centre-back, chips it over the top towards Ings, Ings spots the run of uh, Ermakov in the centre, he outpaced his man who was trying to mark him, and he put the ball past Chesney, and into the back of the net so Millwall 2 Arsenal 1 good finish by Ermakov and uh, we are indeed in front for the first time in this game in the 41st minute it could have been Arsenal taking the lead in this game as Wellington Silva finds Wilshire uh, sorry equalising as Wellington Silva finds Wilshire but Liali makes a good stop but from that we clear the ball out quickly Ings finds Carrasco Carrasco finds Ings Ings plays it through towards Kelvin a great chance for us to get 3-1 just before half time but unfortunately I messed up the finish and uh, Kelvin couldn't get his fourth goal in two games so uh, unfortunately still Millwall 2 Arsenal 1 but we were you know, in relative control to be honest, because Arsenal were playing quite well, but we had more chances. But in the 52nd minute, Arsenal had a good chance here. Oxlade Chamberlain gets us on the ball, finds Wellington Silva. The first shot is blocked, but the second shot is well saved by Liali, and it is still 2 1 as things stirred. But in the 72nd minute, another great chance for Arsenal here. You know, we played better in the first half, but they played better in the second half. We failed to deal with this cross, it fell to Ramsey. Ramsey finds Wilshire, who shoots, but Liali tips it onto the post, and it's cleared away by us. And we did indeed manage to hold on and get ourselves the victory by two goals to one in this game. And I have to say as well, you know, I did say in the first half we had more chances, but it was still quite a balanced game. But I feel like Arsenal, if any, you know, if either team probably deserved to win, it probably was Arsenal really, because they did turn up in the second half. We didn't really have any chances in that half, but uh, we did get the win, and uh, that is the most important thing. One for Ings, one for Ermakov. Uh, they cancelled out Ramsey's early goal, and we did indeed, uh, we did indeed get, uh, we did indeed get the three points. And uh, after that, we saw that the uh, Mill ball came to us and uh, gave us a bit of a, uh, a boost in terms of confidence there after they said that your performance has been. Uh, satisfactory and I'm, uh, I'm managing quite well at the moment which is really nice to see and also Todd Kane is coming back from injury which is fantastic um after that, Colombia came into us and uh, said, will you manage our nation? And uh, we, of course, said no, and we are still thinking about Portugal. I mentioned it in the last episode, but uh, if we don't get uh, a job offer from England, which, let's be honest, isn't going to happen because uh, England seems to hate me on this game. Um, if we don't get a uh, job offer from England, then we will probably go ahead and take Portugal and manage them instead. But um, anyway, uh, after that, we saw an email saying that we were at risk of, lo of losing two players on pre-contracts. Uh, both Michael and Gu and Mertens have their contracts up at the end of the year and of course as they are both over the age of 23 uh, both both 23 or over I should say they can be offered a deal in January um, I don't care about Mertens he's actually set to retire at the end of the year he's still a decent player at 78 overall but he's going to be retiring at the end of the year anyway apparently um, if he wants to agree a new contract in January it's not going to bother me um, so I, I'm not going to offer him a new deal because uh, he'll reject it anyway but uh, Michael Ngu is a striker who I've said before we brought him in he was actually a member of our uh, first ever squad in this career mode we got him on loan from Liverpool um, he's a striker I really like having, you know, because he's six foot six. He's actually got quite a decent, ma 
amount of pace as well. And he is a great option to have as a backup striker. So we're offering Gil a new deal and hopefully he will accept his contract. But we take on Watford here uh, for the second uh, game of today's episode. And the first chance this game would fall directly from kickoff as we just pass the ball around here. Just try and get a feel for the ball. Don't want to concede possession early on. Just pass it around. Just get every, everyone uh, a feel for the ball early on. And uh, as Triggs plays the ball for his legs and gives it to our right back Danilo. He roulettes past his man. Sprints down the right hand side. Plays a 1-2 with Kelvin. He crosses the ball into the centre. Ings goes for the header. But unfortunately the goalkeeper Bond makes a good stop. And uh, it's still 0-0. Nil -nil, but a very good chance there early on. Straight from kickoff. But just a couple minutes after that. Watford give the ball away here. Triggs gets onto the ball and plays a great ball forward towards Carrasco. He takes saying with his left foot. But unfortunately uh, Jonathan Bond makes a good stop. And it's still 0-0. Nil -nil. But in the 13th minute here. All the chances were coming for us. And that's why we had another great chance here. As Ermakov finds Ings. But as he chips the ball over the goalkeeper. It hits the bar and goes back to Bond who was in for a really busy evening here at Vicarage Road but still nil nil as things stood but in the 26th minute the next chance would of course fall to us Danilo finds Kelvin from a free kick he goes down the right hand side here really good chance as he fake Rabon the ball flicks it over his head with the sombrero flick and it's a wonderful finish into the back of the net past the goalkeeper to make it Watford nil Millwall 1 so I said before I don't need to keep going on about it but Kelvin now an 86 rated winger he is so awesome and I'm just so glad I left him at Millwall because of course when we left Millwall uh, to join Napoli and we left Napoli to join Spurs I had the opportunities to buy in new wingers and of course Kelvin was going to be someone I would consider of course for me the lovely five star skills you can see there are so nice to use but um, I decided to leave him at Millwall and I'm just so glad, he, I, glad I did that because obviously he would never have got to this rating if I took him away and never gave him the first team football uh, he obviously held down at the den so Kelvin gets the goal there he's smiling while he does his acrobatic celebration because he knows that was a wonderful goal it's his fifth for the Barclays Premier League season and it's Watford nil, Millwall 1 and in the 45th minute Eric Dier almost scored a fantastic goal of his own he drills this free kick from an absolute mile out but unfortunately Bond makes a good stop and it's still 1-0 but for the whole first half it was us attacking and Watford struggling to defend and you just knew that if a second goal was going to be scored it was going to be for the away side and the 53rd minute you see Carrasco get around his man here down the left flank swings in across with the right boot but unfortunately Danny Ings went for the spectacular and he ended up putting his bicycle kick over the bar but still Watford nil, Millwall 1 as you can see in the top left of your screen there Bond had made 7 saves in 53 minutes Liali hadn't had to do a single thing so still 1-0 up and from the goal kick you see Danilo win this header here uh, the Watford player goes to the floor but even so we play on uh, Ermakov gets on the ball and finds Junior Melanda wonderful ball through to the Russian here great chance to make it 2-0 takes the ball around his man with the drag back plays it across the uh, face of goal towards Ings but he slides in but his shot can only hit the post but it's still 1-0 all the chances were coming for us here and in the 60th minute we get the ball out wide towards Kelvin he's already got one fantastic goal he gives it off to Danny Ings Ings gets on it plays it through the gap towards Kelvin this is the chance for his second goal chance for the Brazilian to do some more magic nice little fake of honor and a scoop turn but the finesse shot was a simple save for Bond and it's still 1-0 but although Bond uh, saved that shot there he couldn't save this header from Guterres great corner by Carrasco picks out the Brazilian and these two that have played in three separate teams together Millwall uh, Napoli and Spurs of course uh, they're back at the den reunited and that was a lovely little combination there so Carrasco finds Guterres and it's 2-0 here and Watford had had barely any attacks in this game whatsoever however they were gifted a penalty in the 69th minute as uh, Danilo takes down what the former Celtic man um very frustrating there because I didn't actually press circle with uh, Danilo yet he still decided to lunge so that was kind of annoying but uh, yeah what uh, gets taken down so penalty to uh, Watford here it's Smith who will stand up against Liali so a chance for Watford to actually get themselves back in again they've been so poor surely now they're going to get themselves a goal it's Smith against Liali can he score give the Watford fans something to cheer about no he can't because he smashes the penalty off the bar and Luke Shaw heads it behind for a corner so we gave them a penalty and yet they still couldn't score Liali still basically on trouble because that penalty uh, hit the bar there and uh, from the corner it's crossed in it uh, misses everyone it falls to Smith who missed the penalty but his shot is well saved by Liali for virtually his first uh, save of the game and it's still Watford nil Millwall too so this side was so bad in the 79th minute it could have got even worse for them here at Vicarage Road we get the ball to Todd Kane off the bench he slides it through to Ings Ings plays it to Carrasco Carrasco right uh, rounds Bond I'm asking for the penalty we don't get it but I don't really care because it goes into the back of the net with some of the worst defending 
something you'll ever see. It should have been a penalty, yes, it wasn't given, yet Watford still managed to cock it up. I think it was Watt who smashed the ball against his uh, colleague there, and it goes into the empty net. So some of the worst defending you'd ever see in this game. It finished Watford 0, Millwall 3. Really, we should have hit 4, 5, possibly even 6 against them, but at the end of the day, we got the win. That's the most important thing. Kelvin scored a great goal, and um, yeah, I was pleased with the win, and such a convincing goal was great as well, but uh, it was just hilarious how bad they were. It's, they're clearly going to be going down this year with a wind spoon. They've been so bad, but uh, what for nil, Millwall 3. Great to get the win, and uh, that was indeed how the game would finish, but uh, the last things you'll see uh, is that Michael Ngu has accepted his contract, and that is fantastic news for us, and our Spanish winger wants some more first team football, but as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. really, really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.